Residents in Coesley said that they're disgusted after Dud Dudley Council decided to press ahead with plans for a controversial traveller's site. The ruling Conservative group on the council had promised not to go ahead with the site at Budden Road after they won the elections in May. But the site is now due to be up and running in May, with the authority saying the search for an alternative had been exhausted. Well, here's what council leader Patrick Harley had to say during a council Facebook Q&A back in August. We need to find the right site. We believe we had the correct site previously, but the previous Labour administration uh, uh, called a halt to that. And I think because they called a halt to that and the furore that it caused, it would be wrong to resurrect work on that site that we'd identified. So what we are doing now, we are working on a cross-party basis because I think this has to have the support of both uh, main political groups in Italy to identify a site so we can have a traveller site in place ready in time for next May for the new traveller season. So it sounds like a full U-turn from Dudley Council. Our political reporter Rob Mayer is in Coesley for us this morning. Morning, Rob. Uh, morning, Sam. Um, yeah, welcome to Coesley. Uh, quite cold here this morning, and uh, we're stood just near the site, um, which is uh, next to Budden Road, sort of large uh, green uh, space. Look, planning permission was granted for a uh, transit site uh, for travellers here back in September uh, 2018. Then Labour took control of the council. They cancelled uh, the project, project, said they would put in other measures and look for an alternative. Uh, at the elections in May, the Conservatives took control. They said they were going to look elsewhere, find somewhere else to put this site. Uh, but letters are expected to land with residents uh, today, over the next week, saying that after all, there will be a traveller's transit site here. Now, how will it work? Well, the model for this site is one that's already up and running in Sanwell. When travellers arrive in Sanwell, set up an unauthorised encampment, perhaps in a park or somewhere like that, the council tell them they've got this transit site, uh, they can go there or they can leave. It costs £80 a week to stay there. There's a big deposit for each caravan and it opens up new powers to move on these unauthorised encampments. In Sanwell, they found the site doesn't get used that much. They say they've had a big reduction in unauthorised encampments and Dudley Council are hoping that's what will happen here and they think they can cut the £150,000 a year they're currently spending on legal costs and clean-up after these unauthorised traveller encampments. But uh, local residents here feel that a promise by the council to move on, to look elsewhere, uh, has now been broken. I'm joined by a couple of them, Tony Sheldon and Jenny Watson, uh, who live uh, close to this site. Um, first of all, guys, just, just to sort of clear one thing up, you haven't had any official communication from the council yet that this is back on the table? No, not at the moment. And, and you neither, Tony? No, not at all, no. OK. Um, Jenny, your house, you look out the windows of your house, you can see this site. Um, what are you worried about happening here uh, when it's up and running and, and open to um, the travelling community? Well, firstly, there's going to be a problem with the traffic. Um, Central Drive is a busy road that has 40-foot containers full of scrap travelling up every day, um, roughly till 6 o'clock at night. When there's a car parked and two of these lorries try to pass, they can't. So how is a 40-foot lorry, a car parked and a van towing a trailer going to pass? They can't reverse. We've already had arguments up the sh in the street, nearly up to fighting with different lorry drivers. Um, plus the fact it's a field that people do use. Now, our kids, if they go over on motorbikes, the police come down to them. Um, these travellers, they're going to be all over the field. You can't tell me as then they're, they're not going to like use the field to play in and put horses in and whatever else. We can't do that, yet they'll be able to do it. And if these people go onto these pitch and they won't move off, what's going to happen then? Last time the council had got no administration in place at all as to how they were going to collect money or anything else. Then there's the crime that will come into the community from other areas. You know, our insurances are going to go up, our house prices will fall, which the council say your property value will not go down, but it will. They're just not in our land. And he has just barefaced lied to us 
he told us he would not use that site anymore and now he's gone back on his word because he's got back in power. You're talking about the leader of the, yeah. the council there, Patrick Holly. So your concerns are about what will happen, the activity that yeah. could happen on this site that is uh, pretty close to your house. Uh, Tony, you feel there was a, a promise that this site was off the table and, and now it's very much back on the table. We're told work is going to start pretty soon. How do you feel about it? Well, Patrick Holly has been lying through his teeth, actually, because... Three, so he's the leader of the council? Yeah, three times since um, he took over control in last March, he's assured us that the site is no longer on the table and he's looking elsewhere. He says now that he's looked elsewhere, he's looked around all avenues and he cannot find another site. Well, funnily enough, the travellers can find sites. Why can't he use one of those sites that the travellers use? We have, don't have an incursion problem here in Coesley. We haven't had an incursion for eight years, and the last incursion was actually here on Budden Road itself. Now, whenever there's been an incursion within the borough, um, on the last six months or so, I've visited these incursions, I've told them about the transit site, they said they know that the land is contaminated, that's why they don't use it, and they refuse to use the transit site, because you cannot put people on contaminated land. So your worry uh, is is partly about uh, the land itself and, and whether it's fit for, for people to live on. I mean, obviously, the, the leader of the council isn't here, and we're going to be speaking to him later on. But just to give you a flavour of what the council say, they say they've exhausted every alternative to try and find the right site, uh, and that site is Budden Road. That is the right site. They say they're going to monitor it closely over the next two years, listen to the views of local people and review at the end of those two years. They say uh, the issue of unauthorised traveller sites has been ongoing for years and residents have had enough and they say that because neighbouring councils are putting in these temporary sites it leaves Dudley vulnerable and they have to act. Uh, Pat McFadden, the, the local MP, the Labour MP, is describing this as a a broken promise. Uh, Tony, I just wonder, you know, what happens in Sanwell is that the site they have that's like this one doesn't get used basically very much. Uh, and they say basically it, it opens up those extra powers. They're able to move people on from elsewhere, but but the site itself is empty most of the time. Do you take any reassurance no. from that? Councillor Zarda um, enlisted... So he's the, he's the leader of the Labour he, group he, on yeah, uh, Dublin um, Council. Uh, when he was in control of the council, he enlisted help of the people from Sandwell because they were the experts on this, they'd already got one, he asked their advice. Um, they looked around the borough, they helped to find different sites, and even they confirmed the Budden Road was not a suitable site to put a transit site. Even their council confirmed that. Uh, and Jenny, just very briefly, uh, any hope of stopping this happening now? Well, the planning is in place, that's it, I suppose. He'll, have, he'll do what he wants to do, but he's a, he just lies to people. He's not to be believed about anything.